I'm going to read what Bart Gelman wrote in that cover story for The Atlantic. Some might say this is hyperbolic, but John Hellman, I'm curious if you think it is. The headline is Trump's next coup has already begun. Trump and his party have convinced a dauntingly large number of Americans that the essential workings of democracy are corrupt, that made-up claims of fraud are true, that only cheating can thwart the victory at their polls, that tyranny has usurped their government, and that violence is a legitimate response. Hyperbolic or fact? Fact, I think. And, and I think the thing about the strength of this Gelman piece is it lays out, first of all, the extraordinary reality that there's this research that shows that something like at least 8 percent and maybe as many as 12 percent of the American people now say that Joe Biden was illegitimate and that violence is an appropriate tool mm -hmm. to removing him and restoring Donald Trump. That's somewhere between 20 and 30 million people. That's a mass movement in America in favor of political violence, which is a new thing. We've had political violence in America before, lynching many things over the course of time that African-Americans suffered from. But this is 30 million people right now who are ready to take up arms. You put that together with what the president, the former president, I should say, and his allies are doing in the political realm. Yeah. State houses, state legislatures, and the party apparatus to be able to engineer a situation yeah. where they are in a stronger position to pull off a coup in 2024 than they were in 2020. That's not hyperbolic at all. Those are all facts. You are playing producer here. In fact, I have a scroll here of everybody the former President Brendan has endorsed that has a role in certifying elections. I'm not included members of Congress in here. He's gotten involved in state Senate races, state House races, and there is just one litmus test. Just one. Um, this is this feels as if we're entering uh, a place that is going to get darker and darker if the election is less than 1% on any level. Yeah, I don't actually, I'm not too concerned about voting laws in Georgia and Texas, and I know some people may disagree with that. What really concerns me is people like Jody Heiss, who's a Freedom Caucus member in the House who's running for Secretary of State in Georgia. Now, the only reason he is running for Secretary of State in Georgia is he wants to take out Brad Raffensperger, who is the Georgia Secretary of State, who pushed back on all of Trump's claims and said that the election was not stolen there. Now, if, if we have people all across the country who are put in the position where they will not uh, uh, confirm or uh, certify a, an election result, that's the nightmare scenario that I'm worried about. And, and he, it's very clear that's what they're trying to do all across the country. And then you take it a step further. Um, the real nightmare scenario is a GOP Congress in the House that won't certify a, 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 a Democratic election down the road. But uh, I think some of those things are, are the, the, the things that people talk about the most right now, the voting yeah. laws, those are not actually the real big concern. Yeah.